Okay, I'm going to show a quick demo of Gorilla Chaos Testing. Um, so this would be workload is coming into the application through global load balancers to a set of soft layer uh, data centers, Dallas 1, Dallas 6, and Dallas 5. Um, I'm going to do the equivalent of actually killing the whole front end web tier, um, i.e. every server in uh, Dallas 5. Um, and that would be uh, equivalent to knocking out that entire data center and everything that's behind it. So here you can see the application. It's the Acme Air application. You can see in the browser it's currently working, uh, running across those three different data centers. Um, I can go ahead and look for flights. And I could go ahead and book some flights. Now, instead of me doing this uh, live uh, with my own browser, I'm running JMeter, and you can see a bunch of different JMeter instances currently walking through logging in, viewing some flights, viewing the profile, and logging out, and many, many users doing that uh, over and over and over again. So this will continue to run throughout the run. As you can see right now, there's 0% errors across all of the clients uh, running the test. I'll go into Asgard and look at the definition of the cluster. So the front end web app, you can see I'm running 15 different instances of that web app across the three data centers. And you can see in Dallas 1, I'm running five instances, Dallas 5, five instances, and Dallas 6, five instances. As I said before, uh, what you can see here is you can see the global load balancer is up front doing the balancing across the data centers. So you'll see here that I have three different data centers, one, five, and six that it's sending traffic to. Um, and specifically, I'm gonna focus on uh, gorilla testing uh, data center five. So you can see here that in data center five, I've got a local load balancer and it's balancing traffic across five different instances. Um, they're all up and Dallas five is currently up. Just showing you the tailing of the log files on each of the instances in Dallas 5. Um, this is where I can see if the workload is still happening in Dallas 5. It's also where I have my gorilla test. So I have a little script here that what it's going to do is it's going to start up an X term and it's going to shell into each one of the five of these instances and it's going to do a kill all dash nine on Java, which will render these services dead um, and will Every, every bit of front-end traffic that's coming into the web application in that data center is going to cease to work. So there we go. So at this point, no more requests should be coming because the servers are down. But even with my servers being down completely in that data center, you can see that my application continues to run. So a whole data center going out doesn't take the service with it. The availability to the end user is still 100%. If I go back to my JMeters, what you'll see is the requests that were in flight at the time that I killed the servers um, are errors from the JMeter perspective. But you can see after those requests stopped, no more requests got sent to those servers, so there's no further errors. So just the in-flight requests were uh, problematic. We could have retried them if we wanted to, if the requests were idempotent. But you can see the good thing is the request, the request error rate is no longer going up. Now if I go into my load balancers, what it should show you is that it has now detected that those uh, endpoints are now down. Um, and therefore will not be sending traffic to it. So you can see the local load balancer has marked all the instances as down. Um, it detected that through health checks and any requests that it saw errors on. And also you can see that for the global load balancer, um, it's decided that everything in that local load balancer is now down. So it's not sending any traffic to the local load balancer either. So at this point, the whole data center is down, no traffic is being routed to it, but the application continues to work. So at this point, let's get the data center back up and running. I'm gonna do the same thing, but instead of killing all the servers, I'm gonna restart them.
and you should start to see some of the servers will start getting the health check uh, from the local load balancer and once the, you, they see a few of those back they'll consider them healthy again and we'll start sending traffic. I'm going to accelerate the DNS timeout uh, value that uh, Java usually has for uh, JMeter. This wouldn't be a problem with real clients but with JMeter where all the clients are running from the same uh, instance we need to accelerate it a little bit. So I'm going to kill my local DNS cache um, and get a refresh of that so it updates with the updated DNS information as the uh, local load balancers and global load balancers restore service. And now you can see that workload is coming back to the instances um, that are now recovered. And now if I go back over to JMeter, you can see that it's continuing to run and that there's 0% errors all through the outage. And finally, as before, I can use the application. After the outage is passed, during the outage of a single data center, um, and I can survive this kind of chaos testing.